All right. Got a Twitter. Anybody still actually use it or not? Just about good to go. Play some competitive constructed. Um, it. Let's see if I have anything in here. if I could gain a bit of life. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go with Movin's Cravings. Two copies. Can I add anything in here? No. <sighs> Let's see, what can I add? Cast down doesn't do too well here. Plank doesn't do that well either. Oh, Lost Legacy, that's for sure. So then I have two more cards that I got in here. Pick up so they can be pretty okay against token strategies. Uh, let's take a look at what the professionals are playing actually. Let's see, extra duress. Argyle's blood gas, blood fast seems pretty okay. Extra cast down, negates, essence extraction, glimmer, and consign. Yeah, already have those already. Um, let's see. That doesn't really add anything to what I need. Trainer's Torment, that doesn't do anything. Direction Scriptures, that seems very slow. But plus one plus one on one target creature, that creature becomes an artifact in addition to its other types. This one, destroy all non-artifact creatures. I wish I had more Contempt, I've been able to make use of those. Those would have been really good right now. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you awesome people for tuning on in. I'm playing some Constructed and I am here tweaking my deck so I can have uh, some better options against some matchups I could probably be expecting like ramping up red uh, and, and decks like those. So I think, I think I'll keep that competitive Constructed. Don't reside, choose. I'm not good with this and I'll submit it. Play.
this hand isn't that bad, actually. I'll keep it. Duress me to get rid of my Essence Scatter, I guess. Could also get rid of my Vraska's Contempt. Yep. Thought so. Duress main board though. That seems very weird. That's so good. Uh, get rid of that. I don't think I missed tapped. Um, I can't really do anything right now, so. I mean, just end my turn, more or less. What am I discarding here? I think I'll discard the cast downs, maybe. He doesn't seem to be playing a very aggressive creature strategy. And even if he is playing like a creator strat creature strategy, then playing Ascanta. Doesn't seem to be playing anything with blue in it. Oh, I should have cast the return. I forgot about the third ability that it has. That is very foolish. That was very foolish of me. Would he have cast it? No, he couldn't have casted Vraska off of that. He needs to exactly have the extra land to do so. So let's see, it creates a 2 2 creature with menace. You could also have minus 1 to get rid of. I uh, think, uh, yeah, I haven't heard all the option. Still think I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh. Yeah, I gotta draw that, actually. So now is the question, do I main phase this to cast Vraska's Contempt? Let's see. Because if I kept the cast down, actually, I could have, if you made a token, get rid of it and attacked one of these here. Uh, this is, yeah. Because the one he can do is then the Eldest Reborn, cast Eldest Reborn, get rid of my Torrential Gear Hulk, and I'll be down to Torrential Gear Hulk. So now he's gonna, yeah, that's sure, that's fine. the whole timing thing so 
So now let's make the rest is contempt. So he's gonna be able to cast a cast down on it. Yeah, he's gonna rest because contempt it. Um So I'm gonna get rid of the Chandra, which gives him a free card advantage, of course. Yeah, two life. Oof. What do I do here? I think the Kazan would have probably been way more. Uh, yeah, sure, results. See what I do here. Black green, black red, black red. Uh, keep up on double green now, nah, but then he'll just cast that again. Two cards, get rid of two, get rid of one essence scatter at least to keep the other one around. Let's see what he's gonna do to it. He's gonna magma spray it. Trigger on a stack, alright. This boy has a removal, yeah. Yeah, what do I get right out here? Uh, this and yeah. Cycling Sweltering Suns for three mana, three for three. Cast this Chandra again. Do I? I don't. I don't. I don't come back from that. <laughs> nah, I don't come back from that. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go to game two. Looks like he has some duresses too. So, um. So scatter doesn't really do much. Uh, duress for sure. 100% duress is coming in. Negate is coming in. Keeping in one essence scatter. Uh, Trespassers curse for lost legacy.
glimmer maybe This seems pretty okay. Yeah, submit it. We'll go with this. And then I think I'll take like an aggressive mulligan for duress. Keep him out of my hand by going to his. I think I'll go with that. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Let's see. Seems so good. Seemed so good. Keep. I think the most important thing for me is casting Doomfall on three. I can wait. Need some card draw. I could have actually kept the either hub, so then I, mm, but then I probably would end up drawing land. So that's fine. Move a spell? Yep, thought so. I do here a scanta or doom fall I think I doom fall him There's no real way of interacting with my uh, Escanta yet. So, that's good. That's really good. Oh god, he hard drew the Chandra. That is wild. He hard drew the Chandra. He has for two mana. A burn spell. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, that's wild. Oh, man. That's wild. Resolves. Uh, I mean, we still end up trading one for one for it. It's just for him. It's just to basically keep information out of his hand and to at least keep the, the disallowance to grave. So I'll go with that. I'll go with that route. Keep the dis disallowing grave and keep him out of my hand. Legacy.
Okay, so let's see. Go with torture defiance. Do you board up? Okay. Again, Frasca, he plays corn Karn. Okay. At least got a rest of his Chandras. If he, if I get rid of this, then I know for a fact that he doesn't have any more top decks anymore. So, um, uh, lever. Wait, no, gosh. Yep. Let's see. Double black. It's five damage. Library. Let's see. Do I doomfall here or not? I think I should just lost legacy him again. I did not. You can only talk her instant. You can only talk at instant. Oh dear. Let's see. Five damage. And next turn, X is one, two, X is three. I could have. Nah, it wouldn't change anything. I would have taken five and gone to. I would have gone to three, so any spell he casted would have actually taken me out. So that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's the game. Good game. Uh, man, that was. That was Junt. Okay. It's an interesting build to Junt. I like it. So one loss already on a two losses and you're out? That's wild. That's wild. So I need to play a lot more sharper than this. Ah, Junt. Dude picked apart my hand. That was insane. Ugh. Cause like I could have held it. I haven't played disallow. Could have held it and he would have played disallow on it, but I wouldn't have changed too much. My opinion. I cannot really keep this hand really. Because I kinda need to hope that he plays. Keep. A Grixis type of deck? Grixis shell? Okay. Could be a Grixis deck.
see if he wants to do anything on my end step. Nothing? Okay. Oh, well, I don't. God bless. And turn. See if he wants to do anything. Supreme Willa. See, if I disallow it, I'll have enough mana to keep up a Fetal Push or a Cast Down. So it really depends on which one I want to do, I think. I think I want to keep the Negate up so I can keep cast, be able to cast either Cast Down or Fatal Push. So I'm going to go with that alternative first. And I want to keep up the mana for Disallow next turn. Opting. Uh, be right back, guys. Give me a second. Holy guacamole, right on time. <laughs> hey. True, true. Hey, Martha. Hee <laughs> hee. Accidentally uh, ate one of my, uh, my timeouts. Um, play my land. Both of our decks and just more. Let's just draw and go. I think next turn I can probably cash champion the wits. Discarding. Ah, okay. He's not. <laughs> he was. He was in the mood to deal with it. Okay. So. It seems to be that he's playing also a draw and go type of deck. So I'm gonna take out the essence scatters, I think. All three. Uh, put in consign, double duress. And I think that should be fine. Maybe an extra negate. Maybe. Hello. <laughs> so maybe that, since he's not playing a control type deck. Or sorry, he is playing that control type deck. So maybe an extra negate. Uh, cast downs don't really do too much. I'm I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna I'm not gonna play the put in a third negate. Um I need to fill the slot, so 
a glimmer bit of card draw so just actively putting in a control shell and see how that turns out hopefully it turns out pretty okay so my opponent's going first so there we're on the draw our draws are pretty live we have duress we have doomfall so um, if we draw into any of them and also our mana we'll be able to pick apart their hand so that'd be pretty cool pretty good so I'm pretty optimistic optimistic at the oh god I forgot to take uh, okay they're fully concealing <laughs> okay so we gotta win I guess so uh, that's unfortunate so we got 50 gold as a reward is off at uh, 1500 three boosters so that's 500 gold so that's half our entry back um, winning two it gets us back our competitive constructed win so we just gotta win one more to get back our plus and 1500 would be the bonus which is actually really good so we're working towards that so we're playing so we're playing competitive constructed so it's a best of three format I find it weird that uh, they don't show the division types that you're playing against. But uh, for most of you people who don't know, uh, this symbol represents gold, and that one represents silver. But that isn't that isn't indicative of you being better than the other person or not. It's just it just happens to be that way. Um, I'm mulligan this. I only have one land. Uh, I'll keep. This is so land heavy though. But we do get a scry and we do have a we have an ether hub and a glint sieve siphoner so i do have a draw so i can keep Ugh. it's just a creature it's it's a non-land i think maybe it could i should actually should have just scryed to the bottom i should have probably just subscribed to the bottom I guess I can put the siphoner on two. We take one here. So they're playing a artifact type deck. Okay, it's more or less like metalcraft, which is pretty good. So I'd expect uh, to play on black white. So a bit of removal as well. Maybe cast downs, maybe or fatal push, probably. So in com combo with either hub and siphoner, when a siphoner comes into play, she gives you her energy, and ether comes enters a battlefield as well. It also gives you energy. So at the beginning of your upkeep, if siphoner is still in play, you can draw an extra card for turn. Ah, so I guess ballista. So with siphoner, we trigger on the stack. Just gonna get rid of it. I'm still gonna get to draw the card. It doesn't really change much. And I'm gonna draw for my turn. Uh I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the never. I'm gonna play I could also play like Ether Hub. I could play like Ether Hub, get an extra energy again, but that's gonna put me on down on land, so I'm actually gonna just Play the siphoner again to just have all my lands on tap, so that's fine. It gives me one less draw in the turn if I want to draw into any proactive answers and stuff like that. A cast out just immediately on it. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um uh, yeah. Just gonna put the island down. We do have a bit of action, so we're good to go, I guess. Uh, at his end step, I'm gonna kill the tool crafter with a fatal push. Yep, that's fine. I have, uh, yeah, it resolves. I have no response to it, so have fun. So I guess his hand isn't. 
So I don't want to get blown up by some combat trick. So I'm going to fiddle push it now. I'm going to save this for like a Gideon or something. If he doesn't cast anything, I'm going to cast it next turn to get me uh, a bit of action. And pass turn. I really don't... I'm not a fan of how this system works oftentimes. It, it lets your opponent know that you have stuff in your hand. Mm. Do I let them... Nah, I let it resolve. Because he's going to take the Supreme Will anyway. Oh, no. He actually took the Never? Alright. Uh, yeah, combat is fine. I'm going to take the 2 damage. Uh, yeah, no blocks. Damage. Cast on Supreme Will. Looking at top 3. Scarab God. Of course, I'm going to take a Scarab God, but. Uh, is a Coast Clear? That's the thing. The only thing that he has is Ballista, which come in, comes into play as a 4 4, which is cute. a risk if he has cast cast out it's gonna suck if he has some form of removal yeah should have doom followed it before I casted it maybe just maybe I'm gonna cast a champion first. Uh, take action. Draw two. Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna have two blockers. Get rid of a token. So I need to draw a removal to get rid of this Angel of Sanctions. Of course, blocking. Technically speaking, between five and five and three, between six and three doesn't necessarily matter too much. We might end up losing this game one. So I'm going to just eternalize. I don't know what I can draw for one mana, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, take action and draw. Draw some curds. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright, alright. That's rough. So... Mm, essence extraction seems fine. Lost legacy for cast out, that's for sure. Cast down seems fine. Negate seems. Negate seems medium. Trespasser's curse seems medium. Moments of craving seems fine. Gifted ethermore seems also pretty okay. Seems pretty medium. It seems kind of lost legacy, never return. Gaunti, Vraska, Scarab God stays in. Mosuri stays in. Cast Down stays in. Essence Scatter stays in. Uh, 
negate against the cast. Mm. See. Chupacabra out. Yeah, that should be that should be fine, hopefully. We'll see. Things they're probably gonna bring in duresses to take away my counter spells more or less. Hmm. Ah, Fatal Push it seems okay. But a Siphoner. I only need one more land. It doesn't matter if it's... It does kind of matter. It needs to be blue. But I'll keep it. I have two Fatal Push. It's two removal spells to get rid of their stuff early. And it's a bit redundant. And I don't want to... I don't want to have to mulligan a hand. Uh, that they could probably disrupt with discard spells. Okay, so I have my board wipe already set up. The siphoner. So let's see if they brought in new removal spells for it. Hmm, scrub scounder. Let's see if let's see if I can offer a trade. Go for draw. Awesome. Okay, that's good. A uh, combat. Uh, declare attacks. All attacks. See if they off the block. Oh, they take it. So uh, next turn I'll be able to draw a card if it stays in play. Uh, I'm gonna disallow that. Uh, this gets really out of hand if it stays in play for too long. So I'd rather not. Hopefully if I draw into a land off of the siphoner. So more or less I'm gonna be taking five, I'll be going to fifteen. No, no, not fifteen. Oh, Awesome. Got Maganti. So Maganti's online, so I'm gonna actually cast the Gonti actually now. Um Ooh, this actually is really good. Okay, Gonti's actually pretty good in this matchup. Because you could get it back with Scarab God and you could disrupt him a bit. Okay, cool. To get rid of the Karn. I can get rid of Karn. I'm not gonna block here. Why would I? No blocks. Take this. Uh, you can get that. Awesome. Good. I'm going to add colors, blue, blue, black, excellence, binding. Technically, I could have done a scrap, scrap heap scrounger and an attack into, nah, that would have been too much card draw. <laughs> Heck with that. Attack with everything. Attack with all. damage he takes four he goes to 12 and turn and then uh, when he goes into attack yeah that's fine true
gonna oh i forgot to get rid of it end of last turn i forgot to get rid of it at end of last turn i was contemplating something uh black blue doom fallen Let's see, if I doom fall them, that'll probably make him get rid of a token, which also does sort of the same thing. But I want to get rid of his hand. It's walking ballista, get rid of that. Get that noise out of ya! No, no. Fatal push. Let's see what he does. So he's gonna crew the hearth. The hearth of Kieran. Alright. Makes sense. It's gonna keep me off of Jar next turn. Yep, that's fine. It resolves. Yep. Uh, no, I'm not gonna cast this. I'm not gonna block, I think. I'm not gonna block, actually. Attacks all my attackers. Yeah, that resolves, that's fine. So he's gonna attack with hearts, and then we're gonna get rid of it. Well, actually, I could have casted. Oh god, I could have casted Gear Hulk and gotten rid of it the same way. Oh dear. So we already get in for two. Oh, never mind. Same thing would have happened anyway. gonna block this I doubt it no nope. didn't think so didn't think so
Let's see. That results. Oh gosh, I'm still angry at myself. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Okay, nah, that's our run. Oh, that, that, mm. I could have played that a lot more optimally. I forgot if I casted my Torrential Gearhawk, I would have gotten the Fiddle Push, I would have gotten rid of the creature, would have had given me a five power body on board, which could have pushed the extra damage and forced him to block earlier in the game. But, I misplayed that. So I'm gonna claim my 500 gold and I am gonna get a legendary. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature with with card would convert a mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I'm good. Creature. When you cast a historic spell, it's pretty it's pretty dope. Historic. Uh, legendary artifact or saga enchantment card. That's historic. So that's a new keyword. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go again with competitive constructed because we still got like half back of what we put into it. So we made a minus of 500, which isn't bad. So it gives us the next run again. It gives us the next run, so. That is, uh, that is minus, uh, minus land. <laughs> that is not a lot of land. <laughs> Tell you what. I've been having a decent amount of mana issues recently. I think I might consider adding some more mana, some more mana to the deck. I'll keep it. I have no real choice, so I'll just keep all the land I can get. Um... Gonna put the ether hub down. Have to keep all action I can get and see what he's gonna decide on doing. Ugh, wrapping at red. Goblins? Sack Goblin add red. Cool. The Gearhawk is going to be the least important thing. Just going to put it on my swamp. And next turn, I'll Doomfall uh, attack the hand, or I can force him to sack this for mana so he doesn't get much out of use out of it. Or I can play the Champion of Wits down, discard a turn troll, and discard a Doomfall. So I have a blocker. So we'll see how that goes. It gives me extra looks out of my deck. It gives me better looks for land. So we'll see how aggressive I feel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think... I think I, I need an actual blocker. Yeah, draw some cards. 
Yep. Uh, Gear Hulk and Doomfall. Doomfall is a least important thing, I think. I wonder if I'm gonna block here. I think I will. It's more than likely. Sack of Goblin. It's a pretty cool ability. Ooh, shocking it. Just getting right over block already. So next turn we'll be able to cast Fiddle, push and cast down. We won't have any blue anymore. Which is gonna be unfortunate, but we'll make do. So we'll take three here. That's pretty okay, so actually yeah. Yeah. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good. I wonder if I should I kill the metallic mimic on upkeep so then he has to sack his goblins for mana because I'm thinking of killing the prospector as of a Kazan double fail push I think I might do that uh, in turn I'll consider that it's an upkeep. I think I might go for that. Uh, it didn't, okay, it didn't leave me. <laughs> it didn't give me an option of being able to stop their upkeep. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Damage, ouch. Ouch, hi. Let's see if he wants to add anything else. Menace. Let's see if he wants to do anything here. So he can sag it in response. I just wanted him to tap low and invest everything this turn. And I'm gonna fiddle push. So now, this is a toss up here. Do I get my blue? But get rid of his desert. I think I do, right? Yeah, I think I do get just get my blow. So I take three here, go to eleven at the end of combat. Oh crap. Dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Okay. So 
the next opportunity that I get, I'll do it. So I need to get some blockers on board, I think. So we'll see how this turns out. So you can push in four, potentially five or seven, depends if he has a burn spell or not. If it's a creature, I can essence scatter it after the fact. So I'm gonna I'm gonna feel the rune now, so I don't misclick by accident. Let's see if they actually tap me properly. Oh yeah, it does now. <laughs> so I'm on a two turn clock. Cause it's me, no, I'm on a three turn clock. So it hits me for four. So I need to either find what do I need to find here? Blocker, that's for sure. And some removal, maybe. Ruska's Contempt doesn't sound that bad either. I that Fatal Push actually eases down the clock by a few turns. So this is fine. This is okay. I can make do with this. It's a slow bleed. <laughs> it is a really slow bleed. Turn. See if he has like a burn spell in his hand. So one more mana that I could cast champion and with. Um I have to counter it. <laughs> I have to counter it. I have no choice. I have to counter it. Oh gosh. I have to. If it didn't have a haste, I would have let it resolved. So that's two damage. That puts me at five. I wonder how this deck does under pressure. So only one more mana to cast a champion of wits. To uh eternalize it. And eternalizing just makes it into a 4-4. Allows me to draw four cards and to discard two. So that's actually pretty good. So I guess I keep I get to keep two of those cards. That is not that good. <laughs> I need to cast this main phase actually. Um, undo that. Some blues tap down, so if he has like a burn spell, he can pitch at me. He can pitch it now to do me three damage. So he's playing more or less a goblin deck. Um, all removal spells are coming in. Chupacabra, huh? Thing is, I could take the Chupacabra. Which is odd. Yeah, I'll take the Chupacabra. It does kill a creature and keep, give me a block here. So as long as he doesn't have anything with haste, I should be fine next turn. So his time out is used. So his time is used. Alright. 
So the turn is his. He's gonna take his turn. He's gonna put down his land. It's my turn. Um, gonna tap low here. Didn't end up drawing that land, but it's fine. I could make do with this. I'm okay with that. Let's shoot Cabra. I'm gonna destroy the Skirk Spro Prospector. And then he lightning strikes me for lethal. Yeah. Okay, I guess he was just waiting for me to tap down low, maybe. Ah, that's fine. Get ready for game two. Um, it's fine. Um, the gates are gone. Where is it? Ruska's contempt can stand. Let's see. Trespassers curse can get out. Gifted Etherborn for better life. Uh, Moments craving is also pretty okay too. Uh, Enterprise is also not that bad. Chupacabra seems very slow here. Actually, it's gone to you that slow. The Chupacabra is actually faster. It gets rid of a creature and also gives me a blocker. Essence, Essence is actually not that bad out here either. And get rid of the Doom Falls. Too slow. Fiddle Push is fine. This counter seems slow here, but could come in handy maybe. Let's see. Supreme Will. Fetches. Fetches me some fast stuff. Removal spells is just really good here at the moment, so I'm gonna keep those in. Torrential gear hearts seem just really expensive right now. But it's a 60 card deck, you might actually not see that often. Do I take out a search for a Skanta? Siphoner is a creature, it's a blocker. But it could be too slow. So I'll keep that. I'll do it like that. I'll keep it at that. So we're done again. Ah, these hands are so awkward. All again. These hands are so barbarically awkward. Keep. <laughs> uh, so weird. So weird. Yeah, I'll keep. I just weird. So I have mass and scatter, and I'll curve into supreme will. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah. No battle. No. That's not how we do things. So. Yeah, I think we, we play the glint here. Since we have the tempo. We have the pace here. We have the pace here. So next turn we have Raskus Contempt up and Contempt up, and we also can uh, Supreme Will anything that's like a Chandra or something like that. So that'd be okay. And also gives us on board with a bit of card draw and a bit of damage. So it puts us it puts us ahead. Yeah, I'll go with that. This is okay. After this game, I'll need to take a look at my mana base. Yeah, take a damage. Ow. 
Is he color screwed? He can't be color screwed. It's too red. He's gonna shock it immediately. Darn. Alright. So I guess he I guess he needs to choose between getting rid of it or playing and developing something. That's alright, that's fair. He's timing himself out. If he doesn't hurry up, he'll... <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. Well, we're on the board. Um... I'm not really under threat. I think I don't want to really counter anything. Unless it's a very threatening thing. I can take two a turn. I can take two a turn. I should be fine. If I draw into like a gifted Etherborn or something and force him to to counter it, to get rid of it, I mean. Cause like if he gets if he gets a Chandra on the board, it's gonna be very hard to deal with. Mm. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Unfortunately, I can't. The mimics are too too gosh darn good. He can't pay for it. I mean, he could. He could have. He could have sacked his goblin just now. He could have paid for it. <gasps> Ooh, boys. We are in the money. Alright. Okay, good. I don't have any creatures. Oh, I do. Okay, true. Big if true. Oh, my boy. Yep, that's fine. You shall not pass. Mortal. Give me back my scarab boy. And that should be the game. Yeah, and that should be the game. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, that is fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> then uh, the mimics would be just be zombie. <laughs> Uh, just, just choose zombie. Okay, so we're on the play. Mm. <sighs> Consign doesn't seem that bad either. So we're on the play. I think the hat. I think the configuration we had just now just seemed good. The Chupacabra seems okay too, still. I'm gonna keep it like this. This is fine. I'll keep it this way. So we're on the board, boys. So if you guys are having an awesome Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, morning, whichever part of the world you are. My opponent is going first. Mm. 
I think I should put in the discard spells that allows me to take away my opponent's creature cards and artifacts. I'm gonna consider putting those in next time. I think those are actually pretty. Those are pretty good. Cause Doomfall isn't bad. I mean, by no stretch of the imagination, it is not bad at all. But I think I want to have a bit more reach, cause the arena meta is just a whole lot different. The cards aren't aren't as good as they are. The mindset is totally different. And the players are entirely different. Because you're just going to have people online who are just going to play it. Red deck wins because it's cheaper. And they're going to get some games off of you because... Because either the control decks or mid range type of decks are probably... I don't know, not their play style. They just probably just don't like them. They're considering whether or not to keep their hand or not. Because... I can't draw my hand yet until they d decide something. So, are they gonna decide something or? Because my hand, what my hand needs to have right now is blue, black, blue and black, and some removal spells. Just some removal spells and some card draw, and I should be fine. I'll consider running a bit. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'll keep this. <laughs> exactly what I asked for. Better card draw, better removal spells. E. Okay. Down like Prospector. Oh, the Etherborn is gonna put a lot of pressure on him. Let's see how he deals with it. I'm gonna take the one damage. Hopefully, at his end step, I'll probably kill it. The Etherborn seems like a bitch to deal with. Because he'll need to toss removal spells at it. It's either this sort of Siphoner. I'll consider. Uh, sure. It resolves. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna fatal push it. So that he doesn't end up casting on Chandra and turn three on me. <laughs> So I need to, yeah, so then I can just kind of take it out of the back of my mind because it feels, it feels like he can put himself in situations where he can just be so hard ahead, so ahead of opponents. Yeah. I mean, if he sacks it or keeps it in play, it doesn't change much. Let's see, what do I do here? Because I can keep on getting poked for one, right? So, the choice between... Siphoner... The thing is, what would have made this a whole lot easier for me is if these lands... If I had a second basic, because I can go for card draw. He doesn't have a removal spell for it, like a shock, because it can sack this to get a shock into play. And I kill the siphoner, which still leaves me with that energy. Or I can eat the born and not have the energy next turn, which keeps me from casting disallow. But the thing is, if I play the siphon i'll have disallow next turn plus champion maybe so i'll go with siphoner because i could do essence scatter as well but essence scatter puts me more or less in the same scenario if i were to cast etherborn and with the siphoner at least i let's lets me draw some cards so i'll go with that route next turn he'll probably be able to play goblin flare 
the creek a goblin card that allows him to shoot a damage to all creatures and players which will suck that's the that's the biggest punish i'll probably be able to get it or if he shocks it so the biggest punishes are the flare yeah chain whirler thought so rough that was uh oh okay cast down never punished never mind jk uh, mm. Yep. So I have disallow for double blue, I guess. Yeah, I'll let that resolve. Wait. Yeah, I have to leave it. I have to leave it resolve. I actually have to. Resolves. That's a lot of damage, man. That is a lot of damage. Yes. Yep. So, cast down. Get rid of Chain Whirler. Take a damage. Next one, I'll be taking four. So, I'll go to 12. Uh, so, so what will happen if I play the Etherborn here? So what's gonna happen if I play the Etherborn here? Because I could play the Etherborn and champion. Down a game in tight on mana. Should have mulliganed that hand, maybe. But at least he has to use a removal spell on the Ether Morn, at least. Or either attack, just attack with a Trailblazer, maybe. Mm, I am gonna counter that in a heartbeat. Blue. Not let that chain roller resolve. It's gonna make blocking very awkward for me. Mm. Disallow and Moments Cravings or Essence Extraction. Hmm. Mm. Just gets me more life. gets me more life I'll go with that it gets me more life and it actually kills a chain whirler so this kills more stuff in his deck and next time I can actually start attacking because I can race him because he he's gonna only be doing me two damage a turn and I'm gonna do him four so depends what he has in hand. I'm 
fed draw Lily here, it's over. But I have a lot more dead draw, dead draws than live ones. So I need to be very careful because I only have one black and one blue. So let's see what he does. Because I sure as heck didn't need. Think, you think what saved me here is playing this Glint Sleeve Siphoner? I would have never been able to play any of this stuff if I didn't cast it. And if he didn't foolishly kill it early. What did he even kill it with? Oh, the Chain Whirler. Yeah, the Chain Whirler got rid of it earlier. Is he passing the turn or? His timeouts are, his timeouts are being used. If he doesn't do or if he doesn't do anything. So I guess he's trying to figure out what he wants to do now. Because if he uses Chain Whirler, right? Chain Whirler does a damage to my Ether board, but then he can shock it after. But then he still needs to draw a land. He needs to put on a, he needs to have a land. What'll help him here is maybe having a Chandra, which allows him to ramp a bit. You can have Skirk Protector. Prospector, sorry. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, then I'm gonna start attacking him then. <laughs> Whether he chooses to block or not doesn't matter to me. I think he probably disconnected actually. So item for 4, he goes to 16, I go to 16 as well, he hits me 4, I go to 12. Item for 4, he goes to 12, I go to 14, he hits me for 4, I go to 10, item for 4, he goes to 8. So I'll be winning the race and I'll have the Essence Extraction to kill off the Trailblazer at the end of his turn. So I'll be able to get back to life that I lost. I think he's disconnected. I think he's disconnected. No, he, he disconnected. So he conceded. Ah, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to actually get a really, a really interesting game out of that. There's a whole lot of lines that both of us could have taken, which would have been pretty cool to see. Let's see, so I gotta win. I just gotta win two. And I basically went back my uh went back my gold. So more or less you just gotta break even because you get free cards anyway. So breaking even is actually pretty good in this game because you just get cards and get free gold. So I just gotta win this one. And I'm basically basically golden. Haha. Hee hee XD. Hee hee. I'm very tempted to keep it because I got a Liliana in hand, so I'll do it. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. You do it too. Don't judge my greed. Long yard. I'm gonna get hit hard. Yikes. I'm gonna get hit hard with a doom phone. Yikes, yikes, yikes.
Let's see what he does here. It seems to be a... Okay. Well, that does some damage. Class down. Kill that. It was either between this or the Scarab Gun. This is better against this genre, maybe. Ah, corn. Oh, you can have that. Trim it out a bit. Magma Spark? Oh, okay. So, a braid Magma Spark? True. I can respect that. And I guess he can recast the scrounger. Ah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't want me to keep on poking his uh My double black. Huh. Right. Got one back. Uh, let's see. Level two. Attack with loot. So I got nine cards, so if I get a Skanta, I should be fine. Glory Bringer. Oof. Spicy, spicy. Okay, so I have enough mana for 
Essence Scatter and Vraska's Contempt, so it should be fine. Let's see what he's gonna do. Let us see what he's gonna do. Is he gonna exert it while attacking the Liliana? To kill the Siphoner, so it keeps me from drawing a card. That seems like a pretty okay strategy. So I guess I think he's hashing that out. That doesn't seem like a bad strat. Uh, killing the card draw. You do end up taking six though. Really? Huh. Thought you would have done something differently than that. Because, like, this isn't really changing my clock. It's a two turn clock. I wonder if he's going to use Scranger now. Because I'm sure as hell getting Maganti back next turn. Take action, drugs a card. Essence got to keep him from bringing anything into play. And I got my second black, so that's actually really good. Uh, there you go. Bring back my Gaunty. A boy Gaunts. You remember back his scrounger? Can shock it now if he has it. I could have technically saved it for the next turn, but I don't want to. <sighs> this still adds up to six damage, so this doesn't change anything. Yep.
Like if you had like a magma spray or something. Let's pitch a card from his hand. Okay, combat. I'm going out like a true trooper. Good game. Good game. Okay, so like, say for example, he had, if he had Magnum Spray, like, if I blocked there, he could have Magnum Sprayed me, and I'd have been screwed. So I'd rather not. I'd rather not. He does play a fair amount of um, non-creatures, though. Play stuff like a braid, torment. It seems a very hard matchup. It's a Ragdoll's deck. Seems like a very hard matchup for me. Is that he just drew dead, which was which is very good for me, I guess. Uh, Trespassers Curse is like a hundred and ten percent coming out of. Do I just go for a negate? A gifted Etherborn here? Consign. Lost Legacy for Karn? Oh, no. I can, uh... What's the name of that exerting dragon? Ah, Glorybringer. Okay, so I could get I could get rid of Glorybringers out of his deck, I guess. Chandra out of his deck as well. Karn could get out of his deck. He's gonna bring in Duresses. I could keep in Duress, but I think my Duresses have a lot less good hits than he does for me. Yeah, I think we're on the draw. We're on the draw. We're on the draw. We're on draw. Oh, God bless. So our hand is half playable now. So he'll be able to duress me now if he wants to. Well, my hand is pretty redundant. And Mulliganing is very risky against a deck that can destroy. Mulligan against a deck is very. Hmm. It's very risky. Oh, his hand is pretty slow. Gives us enough time to catch up, hopefully. Can play that my black immediately. So now we have access to both colors. Uh, Essence can do that. It's going to give us enough draw steps to catch up, hopefully. Yeah, it should be able to give us enough draw steps. So we're playing against Rakdos. Rakdos mid range, which is actually. This deck seems pretty sweet, to be honest. I mean, he is just running him out there. Yeah, sure. counter that's but that's good this is good so just gotta get a second black and we just can almost infinitely kill every everything in his hand that is enough for me sir it more or less trades one for one for him anyway 
uh, he got me to uh, to let the ballista in. Gonna make him fire it off now, though. Yep. Gonna force him to fire off the ballista now. His Chandra is gonna resolve or Karn or whatever he gets to cast though, which is gonna suck for me. <laughs> My hand is pretty redundant, so you can just choose whichever whichever is more threatening. <laughs> so I'm just waiting up a second black. <laughs> so the Vraska's Contempt is a better hit, yep. So if he has a second duress, he can run it out now. Uh, yeah, sure. Resolves. <laughs> Resolve. It's my hand more or less just traded one for one with him. And now I have my second black. It shouldn't be over, over, but... My hand was just almost one for one responses to what he what he was trying to do the whole entire game. And now that I have my second black, if he plays his plans, Walker is gone. Uh, yeah, it resolves. <sighs> Take action. Okay, good. So six mana and turn so I can contempt it at the end of his turn and I also have a neg I'll be also having a negate for uh, yeah, that's fine and then I'll be able to have a negate for a planeswalker if he draws into it or I'll be able to have removal for a creature if he has it so I'll get rid of this at the end of this turn damage that is fine Put it on second main and go to my end of turn. Get rid of this. Combat attack. Attacker. Attack. See if he has the next Karn. Oof. Yeah, he wasn't getting anywhere with it. <laughs> he wasn't. This uh, this wouldn't have ended up that pretty for him, unfortunately. So, 50 coins again. Claim. So, we got ourselves the two wins. So, then we basically made back our earnings for what we invested into it. So, we got one rare and two uncommon cards, which is actually really good. So if we win one, we actually go plus. So all we have to do is just win one and we get 500 gold back extra, which is good. It's what we want to see. Ric Flair, woo! <laughs> Ric Flair. Boss Ric Flair, the boy wonder. Um, hmm. His hand is pretty fragile, but it has action, so I'll keep it. 
Yeah, it was a good uh, idea to keep. <laughs> it was a good idea to keep it. It's a fatal push for one. So, that's and scatter. Uh Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Um and turn. Um mm, gonna I'm gonna eh, Yeah, I'm gonna ask this guy. Hmm. Seemed a bit too hasty. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oof. Oof. What? Jesus. God. God damn. Wait. Your boy isn't ready. <laughs> what? Uh, what? How do I even do what? Get rid of one, I guess. If he gets a land, we're screwed. Oh, God. It's coming. <laughs> gosh. Oh, gosh. It's coming. Uh. So he's going to be able to cast it next turn. All right, end turn. Okay, he's going to be able to cast it next turn. Yeah, that's crazy. It's three? Crazy madness. Yeah, take action, my dude. <laughs> take action. <laughs> Oof. Missed up, by the way. Gold. By the way, <laughs> okay, let's see what he does here. I mean, I'd still run out one, gives him two tokens plus plus four power. Insane, crazy. He does keep him off of casting anything for the next following few turns, though, which is beneficial for me. Wait, what? Sure. Not uh, sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Some cards. Yes. Uh, five mana. So that's fatal push. Mm. Yeah, I want to use both sides of legendary. Yeah. So Kazna. 110%. Um, no attacks. Ah! Oh, I didn't put it on my land. I didn't get it put on my land. Oh, 
sucks. I didn't get to put it on my land. Yep. I did not get to put my land down. That is unfortunate. Oh, never mind, I'm good. Cause I can, I can. Let's see, cause I can. Yeah. I think I'll do it like this. Just enter. So we're looking like we're playing against white black token mid range with Lyra Dawnbringer. So resolves, gets a second one into play. Looks like he has all of his lands now in the moment. But it's scared to cast anything. So let's see if he's actually gonna pillow fort it. If he's gonna pillow fort it, end of turn, I am gonna. Yep, that's fine. Combat. Yep. Get rid of your Gideon. Let's see what I can do here. Um, yeah, and my turn. That resolves. So you'd be smashed my face about eight this this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking that. That's fine. Ow, ow. So if I draw into a land, I'll be able to play Ascanta and have up Torrential Gear Hulk for the second one. Unfortunately, that's not the case. But I do have a Disallow, so I can still cast Ascanta, no problem. Oh. Now I have nine cards in my grave, so that's fine. I can double block these, I can block these each. So that's fine. And also, I get the free land off of the uh, Ascanta, the Sunken Ruin. So be sure to follow, guys, if you guys are enjoying the stream. Enjoying the stream. You can use the chat, talk, um, ask me some questions, stuff like that. Hope you guys are having a pretty enjoyable day. So right now we're Twino. Twino with the deck so far. And we're playing one more. Playing a best of three. So after we finish. <laughs> if we finish beat the kid. If he wasn't mana screwed early, we'd have been so screwed actually. Yeah, actually it doesn't really matter what he casted. I just needed to counter it. It legit did not matter what he casted. I'm gonna block here.
because I think in the long run, I'm going to be able to put more pressure on him. Do I keep this? Okay. Getting ready for game two. He does seem to be a token based type of deck. Um, negates do not seem that proactive. Seems good against the Planeswalkers, but if you get the Planeswalkers out of the hand before he gets a turn for them, uh, they should be fine. He is on a play where on the draw. Lost Legacy gets rid of the Gideons. He does have a bit more token generation. Uh, his deck is more or less based on knights, knights tokens. Chupacabra doesn't seem that good if he plays the white one that gives his, that gives him hexproof against white. This seems really good in this matchup. Yanni's, Yanni's expertise. Doomfall seems pretty okay. Trespasser's Curse doesn't seem that good. I think I might bring him back in and negate, maybe? Our third Essence Scatter? What's our third Essence Scatter seem? Consign Bounce is a token or two. Glimmer gives me a better card draw. For the later in the game. For later in the game. I think I might put back in a negate. Doomfall. Lost Legacy. Yeah, that should work fine. That should work fine. So we trade up with the duress. We trade up into whatever permanent he's going to draw into. Um... Yeah, we have the double black, so it's fine. Yeah, I'll keep this, actually. I have a cast down for the early, sorry, the creatures. This doesn't work against, this doesn't work that well against his legendary, but if you're drawn to a duress, we're able to get rid of some of the annoying things he'll bring down. Essence Scatter didn't seem that good in this matchup. Maybe I should have played Ether Hub. Yeah, I'll play Ether Hub. Yeah. Glintsy Siphoner. If a white permanent comes into play. Yep, that's fine. So we trade. That's not a bad, actually. It's actually really good. That's really good for us. Uh, I'm going to put on the island to bluff for counterspell. Uh, and then come back. And then the end of his turn, I'll be able to get rid of whatever he casts. There's a lot of black in his hand. If he has the other knight, that's going to be a very bothersome thing for me. blocks Gante oh oh dear dear oh dear 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 so that is gonna suck because if he gets like a Scarab God from me, that is going to suck. Ooh, that bites. That sucks, my dude. Um, if I never hear. Yeah, I think I might as well do it at the end of his turn. So then the following turn, I'll be able to have enough for Kaznans and stuff. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It 
Was that my durance? No, right? Yeah. Got rid of my never. This is gonna suck. Our hands suddenly we get a bit land heavy. So I guess what he took from us was a uh, a lily. That's the only thing I could think that he hasn't taken. That's the only thing I could think of him taking from me, a Liliana. We take eight here. We take eight here going to eight. My deck, you bitch. Yeah, it resolves. Ugh. Oof, oof, oof. This. This is not that pleasant, friends. <laughs> uh, this is not that pleasant. Gonna end a turn. Gonna. Say for my double blue. Uh. Oof, this this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> This is rough. I mean, I could start smacking him a bit, I guess. Let's see how this turns out, boys, because... Uh... Seven... Get results? You get it. Yeah, sure. Do you attack there? So he has a counter spell from me. That's the, that's the only explanation. He has a counter spell or remove a spell from me. That's literally the only explanation. He has to have a counter spell for me. Uh, fiddle push. Hopefully get rid of one of these bad boys. Oh, so that was one of my... Okay, so... He used Vraska's Contempt on it to get rid of it. Okay. Let me... Get rid of the Knight of Malice. <laughs> Just in case.
Just in case. Champion. He took Champion of Wits? That's the best he could have taken? Impossible. Really? That's not the best you could have taken from me. Do we trade here? Yeah, I tra we'll trade. I'm already ascended, so just block and trade. Combat attack, attack with everything. Damage. I can't cast this. Okay. I wanted to cast it to uh, get rid of Lyra Darmringer, but it messed up all my lands, so I couldn't use it. Because I'm gonna use this. fine night or grace My duress is way too late. Let's uh let's give it a try, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah, we tried to crawl back in the game, boys, but it didn't work out. Ugh. Game two. So we are on the play. We're going to want some negates. We're going to want a lot of negates. So actually, it's going to be this and that. And one fail push less. Should be good. Yep, done. The Gaunties ripped apart my um, ripped apart the deck, which is hard, man. I don't want that shit went hard. I'm gonna keep it into duress, actually. Any form of disruption whatsoever, I can hold on to. I'll keep on to it. This is not enough action. 
decent amount of land but not enough action it's not bad it's just what I need to do is not what it's ooh. that's very unfortunate that is game three is going to turn out like this we should have probably just probably kept the land heavy deck the land heavy hand because if, if this is how it's going to go down this sucks if this is how it's going to go down like this is not fun for anybody not for me sure as hell not for me that's better than nothing Ugh. This sucks. So now he's in for the cast his saga. Oh. Sure. I guess. Give me a. for casting Gonti. God bless because Gonti is a bitch. Oh yes, please cast that Lyra. Yes, 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 yes. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. I'm going to play Gonti, and they're going to play Excellence Binding. God bless. Fresca's Contempt seems really good right now. The land doesn't seem that bad either. I could duress the last bit of threats out of their hand, but they also have... They also have Temple. So it's either they're gonna cast the Exelon's Binding on my Gonti now, or they're gonna pass. And I wait for something more important. And then I'm going to hold them to the Vraska's Contempt. Yep. I think that's what they're going to go for. Mm-hmm. Let's see if they're gonna block here. Man, I'm just gonna keep on chipping him in. attack if he double blocks then I'm gonna fiddle push one yep I'm gonna fiddle push one of them so then both of them go and then if he casts a non-creature spell I'll just negate it and then I can oh 
Hmm. Awkward. <laughs> that's, that's pretty awkward. That, uh, that kind of stints my whole turn. That stints, that stints my whole turn. Okay. No blocks, my dude. Have fun. Double Knight to Grace. Uh, I have to negate it. I have to. It sucks. I have to negate it. This blows. Ah, uh, the blood fast. He's getting him into the game. He's drawing all the cards. Oh, no, cancel. I'm not attacking. End turn. Draw a card. Uh, what does the other side do? You can sacrifice and draw cards equal to. This thing is just keeping me from being able to do anything at the moment. I should have probably gotten rid of that. Maybe. I wasn't sure what Gaunty would have gotten me, though. Oh. He's actually running it out. Okay. It's good. Six. Go to 11. That's actually pretty good. I only run one Gaunty, so... I don't even worry about it. So the only thing that would probably happen here is that he probably runs a second one. Yeah, he's probably... He probably had removal. He probably has removal for it already. Do I cast anything here? Bluff a counter spell? Yeah, I'll bluff the counter spell. Begin with his upkeep. He goes to five, so then he can start sacking creatures equal to their toughness. It's power or toughness? Toughness. So you can get like two life and stuff, incremental values. So this is going to be our last game, guys. Win or lose. This is going to be our last one. Hope you guys had some fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this pretty short stream. Rough. Uh, yeah. It's fine. It's a lot of damage. And that is the concession. I need more of Raska's Contempt. <laughs> I, need, I do need a lot more of Raska's Contempt. So that was uh, Black White Mid Range Control versus Blue Black mid-range control more and control mirror off they had a lot more non-creatures so one thing to take away from it is that they have a low amount of creatures so i think uh getting rid of a bit of more fatal pushes and putting a bit more in the gates and counter spells is maybe a better option um board wipes is really good i'll consider probably getting more of let's take a look Okay, I'll just go oh, take a look from in here. So I think what I'll need to do um, Let's see 
Oh, the Chupacabra needs to get out. The Gonti has actually been putting a lot of work, to be honest. Gonti has been... He's been paying his dues, you know? He's been he's been doing all right. I need a play set. <laughs> I need a play set. I need a play set of Rascal's Contempt. It's so good. It's such a good card. And standard. I mean, in anything, actually. Even the commander would be pretty good. Uh, when Lily resolved, she won the game. It was game. It was done. It was over. Scarab, when I saw him, it was more or less done. I might consider running an extra one, of course. Uh, disallows or trash. <laughs> JK. I don't, I don't know. I don't really see them resolving in much. I need an next champion of wits. But I need to figure out how to play around this card. Because I think I just need to discard champions or with champions, I guess. Or keep a champion. But I need to figure out how to manage this ability. Uh, the gate's got to come out. They really don't really do anything. But they keep certain decks in check so i keep consider the fatal pushes has been very very underwhelming at the moment but we'll see how that goes um but cyborg i'm not gonna lie this has actually been this has actually been pretty lost legacy has been pretty mediocre uh consign i have not seen it yet moment craving has seen etherborn has been good the gates has been good duress has been amazing Essence Extraction has also been good against very good matchups. Um, but that's that's been it for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the screen. Uh, follow, leave a like, um, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. All that stuff is all that stuff is in a doobly doo down below. Be awesome, stay awesome, guys, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.